Every four years, candidates from both parties make similar promises, but too many times, after the election is over and the confetti is swept away, all those promises fade from memory, and the lobbyists and special interests move in, and people turn away, disappointed as before, left to struggle on their own. We know what's filled the void. The cynics, the lobbyists, the special interests, who've turned our government into a game only they can afford to play. They think they own this government, but we're here today to take it back. The time for that kind of politics is over. It is through. It's time to turn the page right here and right now. I have said repeatedly that I intend to close Guantanamo and I will follow through on that. I will close Guantanamo. I will restore habeas corpus. Years from now, you'll be able to look back with pride and say that this was the moment when it all began. An atrocious political environment, a very weak economy, a high unemployment rate. Working folks who are struggling to remain in their homes. Relatively low approval numbers. Struggling to be able to get back to work. Things are not going in the right direction, they're going in the wrong direction. That's why I'm in this race, to offer change that we can believe in. Jobs that pay, health care that's affordable, pensions you can count on. Millions of people living in conditions where they go hungry every single day. 49 million Americans living below the poverty line. Why do you think you deserve to be reelected? They're not happy to, with the way you're doing your job. Our people are hurt. We don't know what the strategy is. What's he going to do in the second term? More of this? Is this as good as it gets? The unemployment is 8.6. You've still got soft consumer demand. You've got no business investment. People are shaking their heads and saying, I don't know if I can vote for them again. I don't think they're better off than they were four years ago. If I don't have this done in three years, then there's going to be a one-term proposition. Ron Paul, a visionary who predicted the financial crisis, a leader with a plan to solve it. The Paul plan? Balance the budget. Cut a trillion dollars year one. Eliminate five federal bureaucracies. End the foreign wars and nation building. Rein in the Federal Reserve. Pay down the debt. Cut taxes to create jobs.